the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Joe Wombo. Joining now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the – well, head coach of the indoor vo- women's volleyball team and beach volleyball team. Now correct. we'll talk about beach volleyball. You guys are going to head up to – head down to UNC Wilmington and play a lot of Division One schools there. Yeah, well, there's only going to be Division One schools there. Uh, thankfully, uh, South Carolina, who's number 10 in the country, is not on our schedule because they, they'll be there as well. Uh, we did know this when we were getting in. You know, mm-hmm. that this was going to be a challenging weekend. We've had mm-hmm. weekends where uh, we probably, frankly, haven't been pushed. We've had mm-hmm. weekends that we've really been pushed. And uh, going down to UNC Wilmington will be one of those weekends when we're really pushed. It's going to be interesting to see how we stack up compared to last year mm-hmm. uh, with some of these teams. And it's going to be an awfully important. I mean, a lot of the girls need that pushing that you, you mentioned about. And you're going to get it out of this weekend. Yeah, some of the things that I mention at practice constantly, the the smaller errors don't show up when they're playing a team that's weaker. Very Mm -hmm. much like indoor, if you send a free ball over, it really doesn't matter if the other team can't put the ball down on your side, Mm -hmm. you know. But and it's the same thing for indoor if or for beach that if you don't take care of the ball that's on your side, if you give something easy the other side, or you decide you're not going to block that time against a really powerful hitter, you're going to eat it. Mm-hmm. So um, when you play better teams, the small things that uh, th- that you might think are small aren't so small anymore when right. you play uh, the really high-powered uh, Division One teams. Well, you mentioned things that, you know, the small things, doing the small things right, and they'll be big things as, as the game mm-hmm. goes on. Well, you guys are going to head out to the small college national championships. Those little things are going to be awfully important. Yeah, we really do think this is a great preparation for the small college national championship. Uh, just an hour ago, I stalled the preliminary pools, mm-hmm. and I think they're real good. And they uh, and we absolutely can compete with every team that's there, Division Two or Division Three. Those are the schools that be playing the smallest college national championship. So uh, last year we got to the semifinals, and uh, now there's twice as many teams this year as Beach is is growing. But uh, we've played a lot of these teams mm-hmm. already, so we know where we stack up. And I know against the best teams there, we really competed. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm hoping that this weekend at UNCW will really set us up. To have a great weekend in Florida. I imagine it would be. I mean, the girls try so hard, play so hard every point. You're going to learn some positive lessons out of the UNC trip. Yeah, well, it's going to be a real test for the the partnership mm-hmm. of, you know, it is very easy to be happy and talk and just when you're winning. <laughs> yeah. And the same yeah. thing happens in any sport, yeah. not just indoor volleyball. When things don't go well, people start to be quiet mm-hmm. and start to drop their heads. But this is a real lesson uh, you know, that we're talking about in practice of, of staying together no matter what. It's easier said than done. But uh, I mean, you talk about those little things. I mean, when you lose a match 15-13, Mm -hmm. You know, oh, my goodness, you know, when you've worked so hard. So, you know, so many times it's just a couple points, you know, that separate you from winning a match and losing. And in in beach volleyball, it could be a gust of wind for, you know, you guys are going to be practicing and playing in the outdoor conditions and wind and rain and all of it. Every time out, it is something a little bit different than it was the day before how where the wind's blowing from how hard the sand is you know whether it's raining whether the sun's in your eyes you know all what the what the temperature is do i need to wear my sand socks today do i not need to wear my sand socks today do i need gloves so all those things change every time out so the more time you play the more opportunities you have to learn from Mm -hmm. those conditions that particular day well you guys have been learning a lot of lessons and progressing a heck of a lot and we wish you the best of luck into this UNC uh, tournament and then following it quickly with the Siesta and Fiesta Key. Yes, we're looking forward to that. We Thanks, sure Joe. Are. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show. <laughs>